Hello YouTube, this is Tyler Schultz again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to disable a non-used or non-existent operating system from your dual boot menu. Now you may be wondering, what is the dual boot menu, or does this affect me? Now, it probably affects a very small majority of users, but who it will affect is people that have, have two hard drives or have gone and created two system partitions and installed an operating system on one partition, such as the C drive, and another on, such as the D drive. Now, when you need to do this, however, is when you've installed two operating systems, and you've gone and deleted one, such as I, how I've done so with the D drive. So, now, every time I boot, I get something that looks a little like this. Now, I pretend XP was 7, which I'm running now, I recently went and had Vista installed on this drive. However, I right-clicked it and I formatted it to delete all the files on it. So now every time I boot, I have to go and hit enter so that way I can boot into Windows 7. And if I try to boot into Vista, it'll fail and it'll boot into 7 because there's no files. So you may be wondering, if you are one of those small majorities, how do I go and remove this? So the, I only boot automatically from the only operating system on my computer. To do this, I'm going to launch start and go to run. Then after you've launched run, you can excuse this window <laughs> and close that one. We're going to try this all over again. Run. And we are going to, okay, just type in msconfig. M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G and launch it. Now we're gonna go over to I believe boot. Yes. And as you can see here's Vista which no longer exists. And here's Windows 7. Another thing you do also while you're here is if you still have both operating systems, you can set one as the default. And you can also adjust the timeout for how long you have to wait before it automatically boots into one of the operating systems. So what I'm gonna do real quick is go and where is it? go and delete Microsoft Windows Vista and of course it automatically deletes. Now you don't have to worry about accidentally deleting your own operating system that you're running because as you can tell you cannot delete it because you're running it. But you might want to be careful if you have three or more partitions and you don't want to delete something. This has been, and then all you have to do is, oh, fuck this, is click apply and you are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. After you restart, you will be done and you will no longer have to face this terrible boot screen. This is Tyler Schulte signing off.